another good way to learn 2D visual reasoning is to practice it with graph paper. So something like this. You tried with Lego, okay? You made this structure, let's say, the very simple structure. Now you try to sketch the same thing on a graph paper. So how that will be? Suppose this one block represents a square here. So I will try to draw it this way. And this is how it will be. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Right? I don't know if you can see it here. Fine. That's how I did it. And now the same thing I try to rotate. I try to see it this way and how it will look. Now let's say this much thickness is assigned here on the width part. And this is what I draw. Right. Because now I can see only these two dots from this point and these two dots from this point. So this is what I get. Okay. And at the same time, even if you don't have Lego bricks, you can just use these square sections and try to fill it with different shapes. Like let's say this is a square and in this particular thing you darkened this area you darkened this area in this particular thing you rotate it by 90 degree so let's say this is your zero right now I rotate it by 90 degree so now this square will come here right and the same thing I'll draw here Okay, so this shape is the original shape. This is 90 degree turn to left. Again, I try to turn this shape 90 degree. So let's say this is my zero degree. I again turn this shape to 90, which will be this, right? This is my 90 here, yeah. right? Turning it, turning this shape again into 90 degree anti clockwise. Fine. So, what will happen? This box will come on the right. Now, again, I have to create one more with this box coming this side. Again, you turn 90, again, it will go this side fine fine so this is how you can use graph paper and try to understand different types of rotations, flipping, changing angles and all those questions. This is a very fun activity actually and you can play around as much as you want creating these boxes or creating any shape. Something like this. Let's say I create a shape like this. And this is my bigger square assuming now if I ask you to turn it 90 degree 
how will this look if you try these type of problems on your own you will be able to solve any visual reasoning spatial reasoning questions just take these two things together try practicing on lego bricks and try using graph paper that will be enough i hope you like this video please ask your questions queries in the comment section below and please share these videos with your friends if you like such videos and want to see more of these videos please subscribe to my channel thanks for watching see you in the next video bye bye